All right, a quick update on Floki here. So it seems like all the the dogs and the frogs are coming down at the moment. So not looking too great, but we're going to get into it here. So you can see we're over the 786 at 15. We're still in this pattern here, which is very bullish off of this strong move up. So I would say there's really nothing to worry about. As long as you hold over the 786 here at 15, then we can simply just adjust our, you know, our, our pattern here just a little bit. And ultimately, you're still bullish here inside of this pattern as long as you stay above 15.7 here. Fall any lower than that, then you're going to break the pattern and then you're going to come down to the 618 for support. Which, if that is going to be the case from where you are right now, and you take out 15, that is about a 10% drop. You're going to drop down about 57% all the way down to, what is that, 407 here. So just keep an eye on those levels there. But like I said, overall, the market's just kind of bearish right now. But overall, on the macro picture of things, we are in a bull run. So just keep that in mind. So I tend to look to the upside and support levels here when it comes to that. So going from where we are today, if Floki is going to reach a $24 billion market cap, that takes you up to 002. We just did an update on Pepe. And potentially Pepe's got a 10x left in the tank. Uh, for a $25 billion market cap. So who says, you know, Floki can't hit the same uh, market cap wise here to $24 billion, And that would give you about a 14x from today. And if you want to be very conservative here for Floki, you can see a $10 billion market cap up to 001, up to the 1272, and about a 7x left in the tank. And of course, it is crypto, and these things could go a lot higher than that. But we're just kind of focusing on our first couple of targets here for Floki. So with that said, not financial advice. Thanks for watching everyone. Peace out.